Okay, let's do another one to see what is the karmic energy that's surrounding you collective, my beautiful nieces and my handsome nephews. Welcome back to the karmic circus where we expose all of these karmic -y ass clowns. I'm out here at the beach, y'all. I have not smoked a cigarette, smoked no weed. It's been four days for me, so y'all give me a thumbs up. Um... I haven't had no cravings, no withdrawals, um, no withdrawal symptoms, and I'm handling it, I'm handling it like a champ. So y'all just give me thumbs up for not smoking cigarettes. My life is important. I love my life and I want to live. And cigarettes is bad for your health. And I've been smoking since I was 22. So it's time that I stop. I'm 57 now, so I don't want to die. So let's, Holy Spirit, show me the energy that's surrounding the collective. Ooh. Somebody is getting karma. Okay, and they're having bad luck. So somebody around you, collective, is getting karma. Why is the karma here, Holy Spirit? Why is the karma here? Why is this energy? This is a karmic energy. Okay, somebody around you, collective, is, is having bad luck right now. Whoever this energy is, they were somebody that was in your life when you got with them. They treated you better than anybody has ever treated you. And when it came to an end, they treated you worse, colder, or dirtier than anybody has ever. Okay. This person is getting karma for treating you so cold. flooded down here not totally flooded but i'm watching these cars and trucks drive through all that water they ain't pumping they brakes and none of that shit to get the air and the water out somebody whoever this person is you don't want to be anchored down with them no more you don't want to be settled with them okay they're getting karma. What is the karma? This person, they can't use you no more. Some of you, this person, if they had a house or a home, they're losing a home or they're homeless. And they're acting immature. And this is your main man for somebody. Okay? They're getting karma. Now, maybe they're getting karma because they could have cheated on you with other people and they didn't settle down with you. So this could be their karma. Them getting kicked out, losing a home, or if they are if they if they cheating on you with somebody else, if they settled down with somebody else, it could be a lot of um, arguments and fights going on with this person. They can't use you no more. There could have been a lot of arguments and fights in your household between you and them. Because this person is immature, the judge is looking at them like, how dare you treat the collective like that? Now, this could be judgment from the Most High God, okay? Yeah, this is somebody who you ended a marriage with. Mm -hmm. Or if you wasn't married to them, they could have proposed to you, but they never married you. This person could have been living with you and you could have kicked them out. They could have moved out. They could have realized that you're not going to allow them to use you. So they could have moved out. Um, you could have found out that they had a third party situation. Somebody else that they was dealing with. You could have moved out. This person was trying to steal something from you. They're a thief. Okay. 
They could have stole something from you, stole something from your house. Now remember, these are different energies. This don't have to be the same person. This could be a, a, a lover, an ex-wife, ex-husband, a spouse. Yeah, they, somebody could have stole your inheritance. Or somebody could have stole your child's hair inheritance. Um, you may not be talking to this person. Your child, this may be your child's father, or you may not have no children with this person. Or you may say this person is immature. They could have stole something from your child. They getting karma for this. This is an immature motherfucker. You held this person in high honor. Or they could have been in the military. There could be a funeral. Somebody could be held in high honor. Some of you may have to travel to a funeral. Out of the state. For a mature man. Hope they karma ain't death. I see that energy out here. Somebody's karma is is there. They're losing their stability. They're trying to steal yours. They want to use yours. wealthy man in the near future this is if your person has a lot of money or he's wealthy he's having bad luck right now he's receiving karma for some of you this could be a banker or somebody who got you put out of your house a real estate agent an attorney we have the judge here for some of you, this don't have to be somebody you was with. This could be a court situation that somebody is going through. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Somebody could be spying on you. They could be spying, you know, during divination, tarot readings. Or they can actually be, you know, spying. How are they spying? Something about 2.4. I see 25. Something about um, baseball. The Los Angeles Dodgers. Somebody could be a Mason. I see the number 33 out here. I mean, number 13. Somebody is immature. If any of these energies are resonating with you, go on ahead and subscribe to my channel and hit that thumbs up button. Somebody didn't want you to be seen. You could be dealing with an Aquarius energy. Whoever this energy is, they, they've lost their creativity. If they were gifted, they're losing their gifts. This is part of their karma. They're losing money. They've lost their home. All for doing you dirty. This person is getting karma. Okay? They losing money. House, if they had a house or property. If they not getting kicked out of their home. They're going through a lot of arguments and fights. Acting immature. Or this could be the energy that they, 
you know, presented to you when you was in the house to them with them. They could have kicked you out. All because you wouldn't allow them to use them. This person could have a big house. And they could have kicked you out or you could have moved out. This person treated you dirtier than anybody has ever. They could be a narcissist and they're immature. I see that you put a lot of toil and labor in the relationship and you found out this person was false. Yeah. And now you're not allowing them to use you no more. How was they using the collective? How was they using the collective? Whoever this is, a change in reverse. Either they, they didn't want you, if you was living with them, they didn't want you to move out. They didn't want you to move away. Something to that effect. This could be somebody who who was trying to get you to move and maybe you didn't move with them. Okay. So I'm going to have to stop this reading because I'm sick to my stomach. I've taken my medication on this empty stomach and it's making me sick. So I got to go and get me something to eat. And if this reading resonated with you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, that thumbs up. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you will be notified each and every time I upload a video. And I'll see you in the next reading. Peace out.